My name is Paul Rowley. I'm a forward slash backup center for the tribe. I'm a redshirt junior and a 1L in the law school this year. I was a computer science and finance double major in undergrad, which has about nothing to do with law school. It really has almost no overlap. I didn't do a lot of writing, didn't do a lot of reading. But as I finished my undergraduate degree, and I obviously I wanted to stay here at William & Mary first and foremost. I love this team. I love Williamsburg. I feel very embedded in this program. Um, and I was looking at my different options here, and the law school is one of the best, best programs that William & Mary has here. Uh, my sister actually went to the law school here. I kind of saw her experience and figured I could see myself doing that, doing that same thing. And I've been fortunate enough where it's worked out and I've been able to do both. You know, what he's doing is pretty remarkable. You know, as a first year law student playing Division I college basketball, you know, to do that, you've got to be pretty smart. But at the same time, I think what sets Paul apart is that he's, he's terrific in time management and he's an extremely hard worker. I think sometimes people think, all this comes naturally, just gifted, but uh, he works extremely hard to be successful in both areas. It's busy, it's a lot of work, and that was, that was everybody's first concern was, you know, Paul, you're, you're probably a little crazy. These are kind of two full-time jobs, and I might be a little crazy. I, I got a screw or two loose, but, uh, but I love it. I really love it. I love the work I do. I love the intellectual side of things, and, and I love, again, coming on this court. I mean, this is an incredible building. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Paul. Well, it was a long discussion, to be honest with you, because I think, you know, number one, we had to figure out whether it was possible. Paul wanted it to work out, our staff wanted it to work out, and the law school was willing to help us as well. So, had a lot of people trying to make it work for Paul, uh, but it was a long conversation. And, uh, you know, as a coach, I also expressed some of my concerns about it, you know, that he, he's on scholarship here as a basketball player and wanted to make sure he continued to give, you know, proper time to his teammates here. Uh, as a part of our group, and uh, he certainly has done that. There are two others this year, so it's becoming more popular. Uh, it's the cool thing to do right now. No, but uh, I had read an article about Braden Anderson, who played for Seton Hall and went to law school there as a graduate. He has an incredible story, and I actually reached out to him and I asked him, I was like, hey, like, how did you do this? Like, how did you make this work, and what, do you think it's all been worth it? I mean, he had great advice to me about managing expectations and the kind of commitment it would take. Where to start with Paul? I mean, I mean, first off, like, incredible work ethic, honestly. You know, he's always in the gym. You see him getting extra shots up all the time. He plans his days out very well. Like, sometimes it's amazing, honestly, to see. It's all time management and priorities. I, I, I know very clearly what my priorities are. I, I love this basketball team. I place a high value on my education. Somehow this man finds time that like we hang out all the time. Like I don't understand where he gets this time from, but like he managed to hang out, you know, still be a friend, still be a basketball player, and still be a student. And he does all three things like really well. Yeah, I got great friends who understand I'm I'm a pretty busy guy, and and that's really that's really all there is to it. There's there's not enough, a lot else I need in my life right now. I like to joke that I don't have the same video game time anymore. I probably don't play nearly as many hours of Call of Duties or whatever, but uh, if, if I had to sacrifice something, you know, I think that's a good thing to sacrifice.